at it. Eight inches wide and capable of storing a whopping 80 kilobytes. <laughs> Stolen by our friends at the CIA, the disk held the launch codes to Soviet nukes. Uh, this is not the disk, of course, but one exactly like it, a perfect fusion of concepts vibrating in the Cold War era collective unconscious. A receptacle. It is a receptacle for dangerous energies to hone in on. And they did. We don't have the details, but when things started flying around the disk, it was transferred to us. It's an object of power. Oh, OP. Oops. Oh, and it can launch things telekinetically through the air. Uh, to date, we, we've launched maybe three dozen pencils. And once, we even launched a cup. Communications are on the right track. to hear you when I'm here. It's like the channel's been changed. The board's in charge here. Their pyramids in the bureau seal. Are they really the ones pulling the strings? I'm not their director. I'm no one's director. gone. Cut off. I got it. Just like you wanted, right? This will help me fight the hiss.
Emily said that the hotline can be reached through the mailroom. There's a key nearby. This must open the door. I have a feeling he'll be back. Let's stay focused. The hotline should be past the mailroom. All right, take this down. The situation in Cuba has been evaluated by the relevant authorities. The mysterious illness affecting the staff at the U.S. Embassy in Havana was caused by sonic weaponry in the hands of a foreign power. Numerous personnel have damage to the inner ear, but most are expected to make a full recovery. Of course, the event also damaged their cellular walls, but we can't blame that on some stupid noise gun. <laughs> Honestly, with the odds of all of that, will show up inside a U.S. Embassy. Talk about good luck, huh? <laughs> so much easier to... Hey, are you still recording this?
The hotline can't be far now. Oceanview Motel and Casino. Green Logic. The light switch cord. Door marked with the Black Pyramid. Whoa! Have we... No. Hated a lot of roadside motels across the country, on the road, on the run, under the radar. This feels like all of them, like something recognized from a dream. Hello? Anyone here? He has a black pyramid on it.
It doesn't connect to any typical network. A direct line to the astral plane and the board. And my hypothesis is, under the right conditions to other planes of existence as well. A director needs a team, my management team. These people know the secrets of the Bureau as well as I do. Some even better. Darling, Tomasi, Salvador, Marshall. Marshall especially, my head of operations. She sees right through me. She knows I don't like relying on people. The only person you should fail is yourself. But things change when you become director. I can reach Trench. Well, listen to him. He feels more like an echo. An echo with important info. I need to get back to Emily. People react strongly when I tell them about you. Is it too soon to tell Emily? She might be able to help. defying the airwaves for more than 29 years. Thank you for staying up with us. Ghosts. We've had many callers over the years tell us of hauntings, voices, and other phantasmagorical phenomena. Today, friend of the show, Dr. Quincy Reagan, tells his story. Quincy. Thanks. This is something I experienced recently while staying at the Chili Pines Motel in Macon for last year's Suspicious Con. I was in room 47. The night manager, an avid listener of the program, insisted I take this particular room. Now, the manager explained that years back, the body of a man was discovered under the bed, inside that wooden border that motel beds tend to have. And the body had been there a week, he said. Guests had stayed there, sleeping with the corpse a foot below him. They only found the body when housekeepers complained about the smell. Hauntings have been reported in room 47 ever since. I happily took the room. I fell asleep pretty quick, checking under the bed first, of course. No ghosts visited me, no chilly spots or flickering lights. But when I woke up, I found myself under the bed. It was dark. Luckily, I was able to push the mattress off and crawl out before I suffocated. Kind enough to find me another room. Oh, there you have it, listeners. What we call ghosts take many forms. Quincy was brave enough to tell his story and I encourage you to keep calling and writing whenever you encounter something strange. Something you can't explain. Maybe you're seeing colors that we have no name for. Maybe your toaster is possessed. Remember, dear listeners, when no one else believes you, we do. America.
dark overnight. We'll be right back. Hotline? I mean, how is it out there? The comms? The hiss? Sorry. You made it. I'm glad. Um, I got the hotline. I can make out what Trench is saying now. Incredible. What did he say? He talked about his management team. People who knew the Bureau of Secrets. Your boss, darling. Tomasi, but he's gone. The hiss gone. Salvador? He's the head of security. And Marshall? Helen Marshall is head of operations. She's tough, ex-CIA. She took her rangers and went to the research sector to secure the HRA production. She hasn't come back. Someone who could help us. The other sectors. How do I get there? It's impossible because of the internal lockdown. You can perform a directorial override to lift it, but that can only be done in the maintenance sector. Normally, you take the sector elevator down there. It connects all the sectors, but it won't work while the lockdown is in effect. We already got past one lockdown. Maybe I can find a way. Jesse, look, with no prep, no training, in this extreme situation, you are doing phenomenally well. And all that and the hiss can't seem to affect you. I mean, I would love to run some tests on you. If... You agree, that is. We could find out something that would help us. Tests? I don't know. I out about you. But I wouldn't mind understanding more myself. Okay. If you think it will help. Great. I'll check the internal documentation for any lockdown bypasses. We need to get these sectors open to locate Darling and Marshall. And I'll look for a way inside the maintenance sector. The sooner we find one, the sooner I reach this override.
maybe it was Ati. It felt like he made the elevator appear that took me to Trench's office. Is Ati guiding me too? down that way. makes me nauseous. An object of power. How do you think it got down here? A carousel horse. Why is kid stuff always so creepy? Well done. 
You got the job. It's place for congratulations. Yippee, saatana. It happened in the last drop. I truly need an assistant. Funny thing is, I've been a janitor. I'm more at home in that role than as the director. Only Ati here seems to see that. Yeah, hi, Ati. Look, we need to get the lockdown lifted, otherwise I can't get to the other sectors. Can you help me get to the override? Yes, yes. Easy peasy. It's just around the corner. But first, we need to get you working. Very small couple of hours job. Something tells me it's gonna be more than that. Yaha, yeah, 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 you think there's a dog buried in this? I can tell you are not the yesterday's Krause's son. That's why you... Very well. I'll hit the facts on the table. No, Magnus, no, Perkele, Suora, that this house has a vermin problem. A bad one. They've already messed up the cooling pumps. And the uh, power generators of a power plant, Perkele. And the pensioner inside. He's starting to feel the band around his head tighten. The situation needs to be fixed before the plant blows up. And we all disappear like a fart in Sahara. Trying my best to keep up with this. Fix the coolant pumps and the power generators, otherwise the power plant will blow? But don't you worry. I've left you clear instructions. You'll catch the end of the thread before I go to my vacation. The works on the task board here. You can do later, when you have time. Vacation? Right. Yes, no one's gonna cancel my holiday or seeds gonna rattle. But don't worry at all. You'll take care of it and soon this crisis gonna be last winter snow. You better go now. So you don't have to run with your head as your third leg. The door in the back leads to the plant. The door in the back. That's great. Thank you, Ati. The white goes on forever. You can get lost in all that white and never find your way back home. Run is my home.
us out here, lady. Go see Chief Arish. He's just inside. He'll help you. Ma'am! Hey! Chief Arish, FBC security. Shouldn't you be in a safe room? They all have HRAs. We're on the same side. My name is Jesse Faden. I'm here to perform the directorial override to get the lockdown lifted. Yeah, yeah, Chief Arish, FBC Security. I'm just... Oh, hang on, you're the new director. <laughs> um, it's a pleasure. We've been holding our ground, but whatever's gotten into our buddies has them wrecking the coolant pumps and the power converters. The NSC keeps overheating, and my crews keep getting shot before they have a chance to make any repairs. NSC? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Bureau jargon. It's what we call the power plant. You know, the uh, big rumbling metal thing? <laughs> Uh, Salvador, head of security, asked me to protect it in case of an attack. See, what's inside is dangerous. The Dr. Darling seemed to know it would be a target. Darling? He's here? No, he came down a few days ago, before everything went to hell. He was out of it. He smelled like a bar mat. He was ranting about vulnerabilities and how he only had one large-scale HRA, but that he needed it somewhere else. Still, at least he gave us these personal HRAs before he left. Hey, did I mention that he was tearing his clothes off? <laughs> Crazy dude. Darling knew the hiss was coming. Listen, I love playing 20 questions as much as the next guy, but we have got to get the water and electrical systems repaired before this baby blows. I'll have my guys unlock the doors out of here for you. I'll take care of it. You stay and keep the hiss away from the plant if you can. The hiss? That's what we're calling him? Well, that's catchy. Oh, listen, the radios aren't working, so if you find my boss Salvador out there, could you please ask him what the plan is? I'm sure he will have one by now. I'll keep an eye out for him. He sure has a lot of faith in his boss. Try to stay alive. Blockages in pipes C through F. Is the clock back? Now. and water flow. Shit! What now? My old enemy, the Glock, is blocking the pipes. You need to deal with that shit. He is very clever. He is trying to sneak in. He caught him caught with his hand in the fist trap. Get rid of him.
thing ASAP. That's it. The other sector should be open now. I think it's time I told Emily why I'm here. I'll risk it. You two should get to know each other. <sighs> Screw it. Just tell her. I haven't been completely honest. I have a younger brother. Dylan. When we were kids, we found an old slide projector in Ordinary's landfill. The slides created... doorways to other places. Bad things happened. Came through. That's all she gets. The rest stays locked inside. But we found help. Through one of the doorways, we met something. A being. A being? What kind of being? It's hard to describe, but it... She helped us. We managed to turn the projector off. The bad things that came through the doorways... were gone. After that, your people came. Tried to grab us. I ran away. They got Dylan. I left him behind. Bureau agents took your brother? Yes. You covered it up. No one believed me. I just want to find Dylan. I've been looking for him ever since. What happened to the slide projector? It sounds like another object of power. I thought you took it. The Bureau. Along with Dylan. I've never heard of it. But around here, I assume everything's classified. You know, I looked into the ordinary AWE case files after you mentioned it. Trench and Darling were both involved. A large area of the containment sector was reserved for it. The case hasn't been active for a long time. I have no idea if anything's still there. Can you tell me more about this being you found? Let's hope you two get along. She's been with me ever since ordinary. In my head. She led me to you. I call her... Polaris. As in, a guiding star. Did Polaris know about the Hiss? If she got you in here, in spite of the lockdown, she's very powerful. Which may help explain your test results. Your readings are incredible, Jesse. Now, cross-referencing them with the database, I found two matches in Darling's old classified files. Unfortunately, I can't access them beyond the file codes. But one was P6, referring to a prime candidate for a potential future bureau director. Uh, this was logged years ago. Dylan. Is that Dylan? The other match is on something called Hedron. 
which must be connected to these Hedron resonance amplifiers somehow. All I know is that Marshall went to the research sector to secure the HRA production after the his first attack. So, Marshall seems like our best lead on Dylan. I need to go after her. How can I get to the research sector? Use my key card. The sector elevator will take you there. Marshall is the next step. What Emily told me about ordinary, my powers being connected to things in the Bureau's past, I am so close to something. Do you feel it? Something's coming. We take turns to come for a visit. I helped you. You owe me now. And when time comes, I will come calling. director can launch objects up to 20 feet. Bullshit. Fire crash. Did octane barrels full of hazardous and material 